is 5 o'clock, 6 minutes past 5. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up and what the fire looked like. And there's a lot of fire going all night. And I think I had a good sleep. It wasn't cold. It was probably about 8 degrees this morning on the 22nd, Friday 22nd of July 2016. We'll be heading back to Gisborne afterwards, after daylight, and then we'll go into the council and search out the titles for this place and uh, I'll cut out the uh, cliff facing where the um, worst of the erosion is and it looks like we'll be alright with that to uh, investigate with Kerry Hudson and the council, Gisborne District Council, and get uh, some record on that, so that's okay to mine it and apply for some resource consent for that, as well as for the um, block of land we propose to do some developments on, just to set up. Uh, so that's been our, our couple of days here, and um, we'll just look at the other options of um, what to do with the landowners um, meeting. I'll advertise that and bring back to the Marae and set a date for the, for the landowners and the locals as well. Just want to get the total energy project uh, set on a good note with the locals on our intentions to put turbines out there on the Ranfilly Bank. Already, already there's some mention of some interest there from the locals, but want to get a um, consensus from everyone on our ideas, proposals for that land block. So this can reach out uh, better to those owners who are not in the area or um, want to know what's going on. So it would give some public opinions as well on what can be done to improve this area of Port Awanui. Um, little township used to be, for whaling. I uh, had a bit of a look around, but uh, the leasehorse, Lizzie and Richard came down to the fireplace here and uh, we had a good discussion uh, and some of these ideas I wasn't too sure whether to approach them at home or uh, after getting a letter from Te Tumutumu Pairo, uh, who have got control over the blocks and that's um, sort of a negative um, feeling at the moment above amongst people who have been locked out of their um, running of their own affairs where the Maori Land Court, now called the Te Tumutumu Pairoa, wants to have some say in the management of the properties. And so I've had a, a short um, uh, feel of, of what the leases had to say and others in the area here, local people who want to protect this from outside influence coming in. Uh, no doubt that's the risk uh, facing this place is the big shots with the money will come in and help themselves without anybody's consent. So that's why I'm here 
to lend a hand in the legal side of commerce and um, any other political matters that affects people that be on this part of the coast and uh, holding on to what they've got left with the Crown um, pushing its weight through the iwi, uh, runanga, uh, having a lot of say uh, over the years. So I'm here with my nephew to um, um, clean back into the land for the first time in many years to try and get our piece of say in what we can have ideas as well that's been overlooked. Um, so our main um, part of what we want to do here is the tidal turbines out in the uh, Ranfilly Bank, mostly for that and for fisheries and the protection of our seas from a base on this land block. I'm going to be drawing up on plan, such plans, and where we propose to put buildings and get consents in the road and whatnot. So all those have to comply with um, uh, council planning. Well, like normal, I won't go around that. But uh, the idea was to have more influence over them, what they say, what they do, uh, uh, as far as the land's concerned. Uh, so it does need controls and uh, regulations and rules. So we haven't got any. So we have to go along with that and comply with with that up to a certain point. But um, I'm going to listen to all the local people at the Hui. I'll arrange that with the Marae. And uh, I haven't been to that Marae before. So I'll have to find who to talk to other than um, Dick um, Carlson and his wife, uh, I believe, are on the um, committee there. Uh, so that's uh, some help. I want to get on with everybody uh, in the area and to keep our profile up uh, and what we want to develop there with the uh, uh, tip facings and the, um, the uh, clay works. I want to see if it's suitable for concrete and for building material uh, for our projects out in the uh, Ranfilly Bank platform, tidal turbine platform, and also for housing materials, whether it will be good for that and for uh, bracings on the uh, walls of the um, sea, uh, we can make uh, concrete blocks out of that as well, I'm sure that, but we need lots of material, steel, machinery and um, um, the, the means of crushing uh, the clay and mixing it up for roading material, stabiliser, um, permazine, um, uh, concrete, sealant be our main materials there, so all of that planning will come in. The talks we have, apart from their opinions and what they think, if they say, okay, go, that will be transferred to Waitangi Marae, um, and the chiefs up there can uh, and we want to make this piece of land work, and he's waiting patiently to see the outcome of this land block because they're waiting with their land blocks and there are a lot of other people are waiting for this model uh, so we'll get it right the first time and have a good measure of control over what we do. So I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. It's not up yet so I might cut, cut this video short and pick it up with another one as soon as it comes up. And, but I'm just keeping this on this fire because it's really, really uh, spectacular uh, to be sleeping by a fireside on the beach to listen to the sounds of the sea. And soon, very soon, the birds will be waking up, but we are up before the birds. And uh, um, we'll be 
waiting waiting for the sun and then we'll okay that's all for now go on one hour here and today Friday the 22nd of July 2016 we'll see you later bye for now